What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is the Hendersonville League League Cup round number five, and whoever wins this makes well has a possibility of maybe making it in the cut. Uh, so on the left we have Noah, and on the right we have Chance, and uh, it's gonna be a very interesting matchup. Now, I, I do think at the end, whoever does win, unfortunately, does not make it a top eight. I think we end up doing a math wrong, or there was a tie somewhere, and some people's money doesn't make cut. But still, it's a very interesting matchup, and I'm excited to see what's going to happen. I didn't actually get to watch this game, so I want to see how this game actually plays out, and who's going to take it home. Now, I know what both players are playing, but we're going to wait a second. I mean, if you saw the title, then you already know what it is, but here we go. Does know find a base poke when he already mulliganed once, and he does find two coming down onto the field. All right, so uh, we see Chance taking an extra card for the mulligan, and, uh, yep, I'm going to see that, and let's see what's going to happen here. It looks like... Um, Chance will go first. The dice is on his side. So we're going to wait here a second. And you see Chance does have a GX token out. Now that means he's either playing a GX Pokemon or he just happens to have a GX token out. And I do advise you always have a GX token out. Um, if you don't have a GX token out, you're basically telling your opponent that, hey, I don't have a GX Pokemon, so you don't have to worry about some kind of crazy play. Now, um, if you do have it out, your opponent has to always worry about like a Ninja Boy Taurus play. And here we go, guys. And on the left, we see Noah uh, having two Gardevoirs. And on the right, we see Chance having a Rock Ruff. So you, you're going to see a very new deck here. And we see an old Ball discarding a Lysander and a Crush Hammer. And let's see what Chance decides to get out here. It does again to the Rock Ruff. And that is what we'll see coming down onto the field. Now, I wonder if Chance does play Carbinks or not. I know some lists play Carbinks. Some lists do not play Carbinks. I personally do not like the Carbink build. I don't see the point of it, really. Um, but either way, Noah probably plays multiple Hex Maniacs. These, these Gardevoir decks always do. So they can shut down the Gardevoirs. I mean, the... Um, the carvings anyway pretty easily so let's see what chance does here does he have an energy return does he maybe have a shaman um a strong energy and then we see a shaman come down it looks like a set for two so one and two going into his hand and does he have anything else a fighting energy to that bench rock rub lycan rock does need two energy to attack which is like the only downside of the deck so we see ultra ball discarding um, an Ultra Ball, and I'm not sure what the other card is, I do apologize, and also the camera angle, I mean the lighting aspects from the last game, like I said, uh, we did fix it in between rounds, and we're good to go. So we see Chance, get a good little shuffle here, gonna get a Shaman out, I just wish I knew what that one card was that he discarded, I'm not 100% sure what that is, but I know that is an Ultra Ball, discarding an Ultra Ball, and something else, so Shaman is setting up for three new cards he finds a fighting energy super rod maybe four new cards uh, maybe i did the oh he attached returns so that's why he could attach an extra card all righty and we'll see a pass on to noah's turn so noah gonna play a train as well look at top regards of his deck and you do see a rat attack in the hand but you know nothing he can really grab and noah you really can't attack turn one guard of war sure you can, like life leap or something uh doing 20 damage but that's not too uh not really, you don't really care about that. Rock Ruff does have 60 HP, and that's what we're going to see here. We're just going to see a Life Leap. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called for 20 damage, okay? So on a Chance turn, he's got a Crush Hammer. We see a Tails. Not going to discard the energy off the active. We see another Crush and Hammer, and it is going to be Heads discarding the Fairy Energy off the active. We'll see a Lycan Rock Fighting Energy, and does Chance have a Switch? And he's going to look through his discard pile, see what's all in there. And we'll see a pass on a Noah's turn, okay? So we see a Mega Gardevoir coming down and a pass on to Chance's turn. So uh, things are not looking good for either player. Neither one has really played his Porter card. There we see a switch into the Lycanroc GX. Now Lycanroc GX has 200 HP. It does crunch 30. Discard energy attached for your opponent's active Pokemon. Accelerate for 120 and Lycan Fang GX for 200. Discard 2 energy off this Pokemon. And on Noah's turn, we see a Mega Turbo putting a Fairy Energy to the active. Okay. A Fairy Drop healing that 30 damage. And a Sycamore discard in his hand. Draw 7 new cards. If he fires the energy, he can't attack this turn. And that is what we see. But he cannot knock out this Lycan Rock. The max he could do is... Well, if he has 8 on the field, plus 110. That's only 190. So we see Ultra Ball discarding... Uh, uh, or getting a Hoopa. Going to use Scoundering Search for 3 new EX Pokemon. Grabbing a Shaman, Mega Gardevoir, and a Gardevoir EX. Okay. And I see Gardevoir, Gardevoir, and a Shaman set up for some more cards. Okay. 
Um, all right. So let's see what Noah. He's just going to despair from 110, 20, 30, 40. So 140 damage coming down to that Lycan Rock. Alrighty, but not knocking out. And Chance does have a, an option or a way to discard both these energies if he can find, like, maybe uh, a Team Flare Grunt and Crunch. He can discard both energies off the active. And that's what you really want to do with this Lycan Rock deck. You want to discard all the energies you can. There's a VS Seeker for Lysander. Bring into that bench Mega Gardevoir and uh, EXP is are going down to that Rock Ruff. But right now, Chance is not at anything, and we'll see a Crunch for 30 damage. Now, Noah's no, no, turn. Uh, he could put an Energy on the active. Uh, it does have a 2 retreat cost, so it's going to be somewhat hard for him to difficult, uh, somewhat hard for him to retreat this turn. So once you come into Energy, you kind of have to go for it because Chance is just going to automatically discard that Energy. And uh, there we see a Fair Energy in the active. We'll see a Hax Maniac. And a pass, but I mean, Chance can just discard this, uh, so I don't know why you would really attach here. So we see a strong energy going to the active, okay. Uh, we'll see another crunch. Oh, actually, he's going to use Lycanroc's uh, uh, GX ability to take a knockout going down to two price guards, doing 220. And uh, yeah, taking a knockout on that guy. So we see a, um, a Nulch Ball discarding a Mega Turbo and a Fair Drop to get a Dragonite. Can use. Uh, Pull up to get two base Pokemon out of his discard pile. So we see a Gardevoir and a Shaman coming out. Okay, so it's Gardevoir, a Spirit Link, Skyfield, a Sycamore, discard his hand, and draw on seven of cards. Now he's taking a knockout already, no matter what. Um, just doing the basic 110 is enough already. And let's see what Noah does here. I mean, I think you just you just take a knockout, you just billionaire, discard the Dragonite, take a knockout, and one of those energies will go to that rock rough of chance needs to find a uh he needs to find a supporter card for sure all right so uh let's see what's gonna happen does chance find a way to attack he's going to draw a card does he find a anything i mean he hasn't played his supporter card outside of the lysander i mean he could lysander up the guard of maybe get stuck in the act spot um noah has played a couple mega turbos already so maybe he won't be able to retreat it uh for a little while uh, let's see what does chance do here He's going to look to his discard pile one more time to see what's all in there. And what does he want to do with this hand? I mean, he needs to play his Porter card this turn, like a Sycamore and in a Professor Burst Observation. And we're going to see a chance to see this game saying, hey, I can't do anything, uh, which is very unfortunate. You want to see this Lycanroc deck perform well, but unfortunately in this game, it did not. It just, just didn't find anything, which it does happen no matter what. But this is a best two out of three series, so... We're going to see a game number two and a game number three, maybe, if uh, Chance just went to game number two. And uh, in best two out of three, whoever loses gets to decide if they want to go first or second. So I imagine Chance will want to go first, 100%. You always want to go first, no matter what deck you are playing. Um, but guys, <clears throat> I just see Chance self you do see a puzzle of time. I do see a Pokemon Center lady. And uh, he's, so he's playing the puzzle variant, uh, which is very nice. I do like that very a lot more, the carving break instead. But guys, it's going to be exciting to see what's going to happen game number two. Hopefully Chance does set up and we see something else happen and Chance just doesn't draw and pass. Uh, but guys, down below is a link to the game, Game Cave 2. Make sure you check that out. They are the ones who hosted this uh, tournament or host the event. And um, really nice people. It was an amazing time. And as you see on the other stream, they did let us record as well, which you'll see in the next video. You actually see their side of round number five. So here we go. Seven cards coming out for both Pokemon and does chance both Pokemon for both players and does chance find out anything? And nope. Going to see a mulligan. Uh, going to show back in and get seven new cards. And that does happen with Chance's deck. I mean, I I think he only plays like seven Pokemon, just four Rock Rough. And three Shaman. He might be playing something else, but I don't really think he is. All right, but we're going to get the shuffle here. Let's see, can Chance find anything or not is the uh, the million dollar question here. All right, so we're going to get a good little shuffle. And who do you want to see? I mean, I hope we see Lycanroc take a game and potentially a victory. That'd be really cool to see. And just, you know, this new deck that's brand new coming out. And it'd be really nice to see a new deck emerge. But Chance has made it this far. I think he's right now... Um, two and two, if I remember correctly. And here we go, guys, on a game number two. Chance does start with that rock rub. And uh, Noah starts with the guard. So both players are having a fantastic uh, start. That's what you want to start with. 
And here we go, see Chance, use it to trade as well. Look at top four cards of his deck. Does he actually play a supporter card this turn? Unlike last game, he did not. He didn't play it in, didn't play a Sycamore. All he played was a Lysander. That was a couple times. But here we see a Lysander going back into his hand. Oh no, that's not what you want to see. You definitely want to find something new. You want to find like an in, a Sycamore. Um, he played multiple Ultra Balls last game, but didn't find anything with those. Okay. And let's see what Chance does here. He's going to attach a strong energy to the active. Once again, Gardevoir really can't knock out Rockruff. And the max he can do is maybe 20 damage. Uh, you have to Mega Evolve. And we do see Sycamore discard his hand, drawn seven new cards. And let's see. Can we see what's really in there? I can't tell at all. All right. So Chance is going to draw seven new cards. I don't know what he discarded, unfortunately, but that does happen sometimes. And which leaves he pass on the Noah's turn. So Noah's gonna put a spear on the active trainer smell. Look at the top cards of his deck. Gonna grab a gold ultra ball. And uh, he could discard two cards to so grab a hoopa. We see a Gardevoir being discarded. Okay. And we see oh oh oh, oh wait wait a second. Start on this turn which one he wants to discard. And a VS Seeker, this will most likely grab a hoopa. Use Scoundrel to search for three new EX Pokemon, but on a chance turn. We gotta hope he finds a Pokemon. If he does not find a Pokemon, he is in grave danger of losing this game. Alright, so Noah's gonna look through his deck, see what's all in there. I mean, he can grab a Hoopa, or just grab a straight Gardevoir. Nope, just gonna grab a Shaman instead. So, did he prize his Hoopas? I'm not sure. Uh, he could have just not want to put it down the field. Alright, so we see a Hallucer coming down. We see a Shaman gonna set up. Looks like for three new guards. One, two, and three. Alright, he has a fairy energy, but as you see, he's contemplating, do I want to attach this? If I attach it, there's an opportunity that it'll be discarded next turn, thanks to Lycanroc, and it will set Noah back a turn for sure. Alright, so we'll see, is Noah going to attach the energy or not? I think you do no matter what. Um, I think you attach the energy and life leap here for 20, and that way you can, you can knock him out next turn um, if he does evolve in Lycanroc by discarding all eight Pokemon. So on a chance this turn, let's see what does he find. He's got a strong energy to the active. Okay. We see a Lycanroc come down. And um, right now, Crunch is going to do three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. And his chance to find a... Um, right now, he's going to discard the energy now. What? And we see a Parallel City coming out. Go to put Noah down to three. Which, I think you want to hold on to that. We see an EXP sure going to the active as well. And a Via Seeker for Sycamore. Discarding his hand, drawing seven new cards. I guess Chance wants to find another Pokemon. Just in case this Lycanroc does get knocked out. Which, it can happen if uh, Noah does fill his bench up. Get a Pokemon. All that kind of good stuff. So, we see a Rock Rock come down. And we'll see a Crunch for 70 damage. Alright, so on to Noah's turn, I'm going to draw a card. He has an in at hand, so he can't play that. Uh, we see a Mega Gardevoir coming online, and I know he does have a Mega Turbo. So Mega Turbo going to the active, and an in, both players will shuffle up, and get six new cards. But Noah has to find a full bench. Uh, he has to find a Skyfield, put down seven Pokemon, and he can take a knockout this turn. Because seven plus 110 is 180, plus that 20 is enough for a knockout. Uh, so does Noah... Pull off this knockout this turn. That'd be crazy to see. He really doesn't have to worry about Chance attacking this turn. Because that Rockruff does not have a uh, EXP share to it. So as you know, going to look at the top cards of his deck. Not going to find anything. Okay. Um, Alright. So is he a fair to the active? We see a shape. Sorry to keep yawning, guys. Alright, so shame is set up for six new cards. He does have a Skyfield. Going to put that down. Uh, but does he have an Ultra Ball? If he gets an Ultra Ball, he's really close to taking a knockout. Uh, he can get four more on the field, needs one more, and nope, we'll just see Despair Ray discard two Pokemon, uh, doing 140, 120, 130, sorry. So 10, 20, 30, on a chance this turn. He has a Crushing Hammer in hand. He can play the Crushing Hammer. Uh, he could go for a Lycanroc GX for 200 damage. So does he have strong, a, fade, a Fighting Engine in the active? Uh, and that will take a knockout this turn. And that's when like Lycanroc becomes really strong. We see a Trainer's Mail look at the top cards of his stack. Alright. So we will see Chance take a knockout going down to four price cards. And Noah cannot take a knockout next turn as of right now. That Halucha, uh, you know, really can't do too much. 
So in Lysina, they're going to the Chance's Hand. I mean, no one has to find a Gardevoir, then Mega Evolve, and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be a little while before Noah can attack again, which uh, is very unfortunate. And let's see what Chance finds here. Does he find an EXP shirt, maybe? Maybe just put a Lycanroc down? But we will see a GX attack happen, and uh, can Noah find a Pokemon? I do see a Dragonite in this hand uh, that can let him get two basic Pokemon out, like a Gardevoir and a Shaman, if he wants to do that. Uh, no, that's an Ultra Ball, sorry. So Ultra Ball discards all. I thought that Golden Ultra Ball was a Dragonite. Uh, Noah's deck so blinked out. But the Golden Ultra Ball gets the Golden Dragonite anyway. And we'll see a pull up, getting a Gardevoir and a Shaman. Okay. Uh, but like I said, Noah cannot attack the Nergardi. Spirit Link, Seamus setting up for four new cards, looks like. All right. And we'll see if Fader's going to that bench. Gardevoir. And... Do we see a pass? Uh, do we see a Viasic? Okay, we'll see a Viasic for N. Uh, Klefki and an M putting both point, uh, shuffling both opponents' hands down. Uh, Chance will only get four off this M, while Noah will still get six. But Noah... But still needs to find another Mega Gardevoir. There's no way Chance can knock out that, that Gardevoir next turn, but he needs to somehow start setting up multiple Gardevoirs so he can, he can have backup attackers later on. Chance, all he really needs is the Energy and a Lycanroc, and he is good to go. All right, so uh, let's see what Noah does here. I mean, imagine you. you, you mean, imagine he. You, he just like passes with the Hall of in the Axe Spot. You know, Cave gets knocked out. We see a Fluffy getting a one lock to the active. It does not prevent Lycanroc from hurting it. It only prevents Mega Evolution Pokemon. And does Noah Ultra Ball for Gardevoir? Nope. On a chance turn, let's see what happens. Does he run a Lysander? We see a Trainer's Mode look at top cards of his deck. Does he find a Crush Hammer? There's a VS Seeker. Is there a Lysander in his discard pile? If there is, Chance can Lysander up that Gardevoir, discard the energy, and put Noah in a bad situation once again. Alright, so see if VSA can go to Chance's hand. We'll see a EXP sure going to uh, Rock Ruff, a strong energy. Uh, VSA can for Lysander, bring up that Gardevoir, and he will crudge discarding. Oh no, he, okay, so actually, last turn what he used was Accelerog. Um, sorry, I forgot about that, guys. Last turn, he used Accelerog, uh, doing 140 plus a 70, which is enough for the knockout. And now Noah is in a terrible spot. I thought he used a GX last turn. It was actually an Accelerog, which was enough with the double strong energy. And wow. All right, so now Noah is in a terrible position. He can't attack again. And, uh, you know, Noah's going to end up putting down a 2. But Chance, he is, getting, he is taking a dominant position right now. He has two prize cards left. Noah, he can't attack again this turn. And all Chance has to do is knock out the active Hall Lucha and somehow knock out one more Pokemon, which is easier said than done because Noah can constantly discard his Pokemon. So we see the Guardian coming down, uh, Spirit Link, Fairy G all coming down all this turn. And uh, we see a Super Rod, Gunner Shelf on three combination Pokemon, back and energies back to his deck. So Gardevoir, Shaman. And then maybe a fairy energy, and yeah, I, I I do agree with this fairy energy. Just get it back in your deck, just in case chance does run you out of energies. You have an option to get that back. But right now, Lycanroc is just just doing a lot of work, and we see chance going to draw a card. Shaman going to set up for four new cards, so three, four, five, and six. Uh, do we find an energy? I do not see one, but there's a crush hammer, and it is heads. We'll discard the fairy energy off that Gardevoir. Oh no, like it is slowly going down here from Noah. We see an Ultra Ball going to discard two cards from his hand. Chance could get another Shaman to help set up. If he finds energy, he can attack this turn. But no, going to get a, another Lycan Rock down instead. Um, it does have an EXP share on it, so that way... If the active does get knocked out, the energies will come back to the bench. And there we see Sycamore discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Does Chance find an energy? If he does, he can knock out this Hall Lucha, uh, putting him down to one prize card. All right. I mean, wait, does it knock it out? I don't think. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know how much HP Hall Lucha has. I think it's 70. If it's 60, let's see if it knock out this turn. Well, let's see. Um. Nope, just going to pass over to Noah's turn. All right, so to Noah, he's going to Ultra Ball. Discarding a Hex Maniac, I think that's what it is, and a Skyfield to grab a Shaman. And with the Shaman, he needs to find a Mega Gardevoir. He needs to find an Energy, a Mega Turbo, and uh, there's a lot of stuff that Noah needs to find here. He's going to adjust his bench right now. If you're confused why he has so many bench Pokemon, that's because Skyfield allows you to have eight Pokemon on your bench. 
And uh, we see a Mega Turbo going into his hand. Going to put a Link down on the Gardevoir, okay. Um, the one that I put down this turn. We'll see an, an Escape Rope. And I wonder who Chance is going to set up. What you could set up is the Lycanroc with the one Strong Energy. So that way you don't give him an EX at Knockout right now. Uh, but he is going to promote the Shaman, okay. We'll see Gardevoir coming up. We'll see a Sycamore. Discard his hand. Draw seven of cards. I see Mega Gardevoir, but oh, I don't see a Mega Turbo. Uh, Mega Gardevoir coming to the active. Okay. And oh no, he has a Fair Energy, but does he commit the Fair Energy or not? If he does, Chance could discard the energy again. And things are start looking bad for Noah. All right. Um, he has to discard the Halucha with the Escape Rope, but um, that's why we, they caught it. Alright, but does he attach to Fear Energy or not? If he does, he does, you know, run a risk of that energy being discarded, so Fear Energy be active, okay? And do we see a pass on a chance turn? And that's what we see, unless he does chance to find a way. There's a Crush Namer. And it is ahead, so Chance will discard the Fair Energy again, putting Noah not able to attack unless he finds an energy and a Mega Turbo. Alright, so Chance will count how many cards are left in his deck. And, uh,. You know, you gotta start thinking Chance is in a good position here. Even though he's not maybe not attacking this turn, just keep discarding the energies, does put your opponent in a terrible situation. But his chance, he's gonna put down a parallel city, put his opponent down to three. Alright, so uh yeah, there we go. Three cards. Alright, so uh yeah, Noah's yeah, that's a lot of Pokemon being discarded. Two Dragonites. I mean I I think he does play Brock's grit, so he can Shuffle those Dragonites back in, and there we see Sycamore, discard his hand, draw seven new cards. Does Chance find an energy and a switch to attack this turn? That is the main question here. Alright, so let's see what energy's on what. I think no matter what, you attack with the Lycanroc with the no damage on it, if possible. So we see a strong energy going to that guy. Uh, does he have a switch or a Floodstone in hand? If not, the Shaman will maybe be knocked out. That's the, the key. It might be knocked out. It's not guaranteed. Um, that is for sure. So is he a chance of playing a Super Rod? Show back in three energies, most likely. Like, there's three fighting energies, so one, uh, two, and then maybe a Shaman or a third fighting. I think I'm fine with either play, uh, whatever he decides to do. Either one seems fine in my head. But no, put three into fighting energies. He might not even have a Shaman in discard pile. That might be the only Shaman he's played so far in this game, is the one of the active spot. But does Chance have a Switch or a Flowstone to start attacking? And if he does, he will use that as Crunch for 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Alright, and um, does he find a Switch? No pass on a Noah's turn. Alright, so Noah's going to put a Fader to the active. We'll see a Mega Guard will come down. A Skyfield discarding that Parallel City. And Noah's kind of how many cards are left in his deck. And, I mean, they're close. And there's an end. Both players will shuffle up. Chance will find two. And Noah will get six new cards. Does Noah have a Mega Turbo left in the deck or not? That is a million dollar question. You see Chance shuffle. And you see the puzzle times. You see the crush neighbors. You know Chance has ways to discard the energy off the active. And I don't see Noah having a Mega Turbo in his hand right now. So we see a Rat Attack come down. Shaman set up for two. And there's a Mega Turbo. He'll put a Fair Energy on the active. And he will Despair Rate knocking out this active. But he has one card left in his deck. Oh no. So we see Despair Rate doing a ton of damage. We're going to get the Klefki on field um, just in case. And we'll see Lycanroc come up with the two energies. All right, so on a chance turn, going to draw a card. Uh, there's a Lysander in Chance's hand. He could Lysander that bench Gardevoir to get it stuck in the act spot, and maybe Noah doesn't have a way to retreat it. Um, that could be a high possibility. Now, what Chance could do is just crunch, uh, doing three, four, five, six, seven, discard the Fairy Energy, and the next turn take a knockout with Accelerock. So does he play the Lysander? Does he just swing in the next turn Accelerock? Um, I see. No, he's going to go for the crunch for. Oh, uh, no, he's going you know, to Accelerock here. Uh, okay, so 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, all right? So on a Noah's turn, can he knock out his Mega Gardevoir? No, unless he plays Professor Kakui. And you got to think that he has it in a chance. We'll win this game. Like a rock, take another Mega Gardevoir deck. And wow, that was crazy. Uh, we saw Chance, you know, crunch, then Accelerock, take a knockout. Follow up with a like it thing GX for the knockout. And we're going to game number three with this Mega Gardevoir versus a Lycanroc GX deck. And this is amazing. I'm so excited to have this match on here to see how these decks do battle out. Noah does need to hit Energy Plus Mega Turbo every time he wants to tag. While Chance, he really doesn't need too much. Just, you know, a crunch here and there. And then, you know, a, a Crush Nammer flip go his way. 
Now, he does play this puzzle at times, which we haven't seen used. He does play Team Flare Grunt, which we haven't seen used. There's a lot of different other ways he has to, uh, well, not a lot of different ways, but multiple ways to disrupt energies on Noah's side of the field, which is a very, very important thing in this matchup. And I think that's what makes Lycanroc such a good deck. You just, like, discard your opponent's energies. They can't attack you. They really can't do too much unless they find two pieces of puzzle. And in this case, it's got to be an energy plus a Mega Turbo, which is harder to do sometimes. So both players are going to shove up. Going to get seven new cards. I imagine Noah will opt to go first since he lost last game. I do think he has a Mulligan right now. And uh, let's see what Chance finds here. Does he find a Pokemon? Both players will Mulligan. Show them their hands off. And guys, while both players are shuffling up, make sure you check out the links down below to the Game Cave 2. Uh, they are the guys who hosted this event. Big shout out to those guys. Very nice and friendly staff. They did help out all this all this Saturday. And uh, helped me set up our stream and uh, helped me set up the recording and everything. It was fantastic for sure. But both guys are going to shuff up and try again to find a base Pokemon off these uh, new hands. And let's see. What do they find here? I see Noah does have a Shaman in hand, unfortunately. It does Chance find with something he does. All right, so Noah's starting with Pokemon. He does not. Does Chance have a Rock Rub? And, oh, both Shaman starts. All right. The Shaman start from Chance, probably not too uh, unlikely since he does play, like, only, like, three Shamans, like, four Lycan Rocks, something like that. So Noah is going to Ultra Ball, just kind of life and Fear Energy, probably going to dig for Hoopa, use that Scoundering and search for three new EX Pokemon. So Hoopa, going to grab a Shaman, Guardian, Guardian, okay. And uh, does Noah have a Link in hand? Does he have a Fear Energy? There's a Guardian coming down, Guardian coming down. We see a Spear Link, Fear Energy, and a Shaman sitting up for four new cards, I think it was. All right. And let's see what Noah does. A Hax Maniac, and we'll see a pass on a chance to turn. Does Chance find another Pokemon? If he does not, he could potentially just get knocked out next turn and lose his game, which would be very, very unfortunate. I, I don't want to see that happen. I want Lycanroc to have a fighting chance. Get it? Because he's a fighting Pokemon. Um, <laughs> so is he in Chance right now? is like switching cards around his deck, which you know he does have an Ultra Ball if he is doing that. We'll see an Ultra Ball. Grabbing a Rock Ruff. Now what Chance needs here is a Rock Ruff plus another one plus a EXP share. So that way if Noah does find a way to like knock out a Rock Ruff on the bench, it doesn't disrupt him too much. Um, Alright, so Chance is going to put down the, the Rock Ruff. Um, does he have a Crushing Hammer? That could be make a big deal. Make him where Noah can't possibly attack next turn. Um, we see a Double Puzzle for an Ultra Ball and a Fighting Energy. Okay. Uh, there's a fighting energy going to the bench. Oh, see a crushing hammer. And it is hands. All right. So discard the fairy energy off the bench. And you'll see a pass on a Noah's turn. All right. So let's see what Noah does here. There's an escape rope. Oh, no. Bring in the rock off to the axe spot. Uh, Guardian will come up. Hoopa going to get scoundering. He does not have a sky fit out. But no, but just going to grab a mega Guardian. And does Noah find an energy plus a mega turbo? If he does, he can knock out chances only a rock off. So see Sycamore, discard his hand, draw on seven of cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And he hits both of those. There's double mega turbo to the active. Does he have two in the act in there? And he does have two. Wow. All right. And Noah could put a third energy on the active as well. And just put just load up this Gardevoir and just start ready to go. Uh, no, gonna use counter, uh, gonna use Despair Ray, discarding all five. Oh, and a chance to turn. Does he find another Pokemon? We see an Ultra Ball, discarding Ultra Ball and something else to grab a Shaman EX and gonna set up for six new cards if his other Shamans are in his deck. I mean, uh, I mean, either way, he has to show what it is. It's, I don't know what it is. I mean, he's gonna put it down. It's most likely a Shaman. We gotta hope it's a Shaman. If it's not a Shaman, the chance is in a bad position. <laughs> That's all it is to it. Alright, so uh, we'll see what Chance does here. I kind of wish Noah did attach energy return to the active, uh, just in case Chance does get like a team flare on it plus a crush hammer. Um, but we see Chance drawing a new hand of seven, and I don't see a Pokemon. I see multiple strong energies. Of fighting. Okay, no, there's Pokemon. So Rock Ruff coming down. Um, I will attach a fighting energy to, it, energy to it, not a strong energy. And we see in both players are going to show up and get six new cards. Now, the reason why I would attach a Fighting Energy to Rock Ruff is just in case you find another Rock Ruff for the EXP share, you can then transfer that energy because EXP share only works on basic energies and not special energy, so you can't transfer the strong energy. Uh, but let's see, does Chance find some Crush Namers? Um, he's already played two puzzles, okay. 
And uh, going to get six of cards. No, he's only going to get five. That's fine. We see another Rock Ruff coming down. We see an EXP share. And that's what I was talking about. Now, if Noah has a Lysander, he can make it where Chance cannot attack again next turn. And on Noah's turn, I'm going to draw a card. Fair to do to the active. All right. Um, does he have a Lysander? I do see an N. I see another N in his hand. I mean, maybe you just end right now. Or just Sycamore, discard your hand. And we'll see N both players playing and getting new hands of six. Then Noah's going to knock out the Shaman no matter what. This fairy does a base of 110, and then plus 10 for each one you discarded that, and discarded. And if you discard 6, you can do 170, you know. I mean, I should have went over this a little earlier, but I mean, a lot of people know what Mega Gardevoir does. It's not really a secret deck anymore. Um, the Lycanroc is definitely the more secret thing, for sure. So both players are going to show up and get some new cards. Uh, Noah, not going to find anything really. There's a Hall Lucha not using its ability. You know, Noah's just playing to save. And we'll see a Despair Ray for the knockout. On a Chance turn, going to send that Rock Ruff with the strong energy. But Chance has to discard three energies this turn. Like a Crunch, a Crush Hammer, and a Team Flare on probably the only... That's like likely the only route he can do to discard all the energies off the active. So they receive Super Rod, going to show up in three coming if ener energies Pokemon back to his attack. Uh, going to put a strong Rock Ruff and, not strong, a fighting Rock Ruff and a Shaman back into his deck. Okay. And, um, let's see what else does Chance find. Does he find a Lycan Rock, an energy, a Crush Hammer, and a Team Flare Grunt? That'd be a crazy combo to pull off, but it would be cool to see for sure. So is he Ultra Ball just trying to Lysander and something else? I'm not sure what the other card was. And it uh, looks like double Lysander, actually, all right? So Chance, going to shuffle, going to look through his deck, maybe grabbing that Shaman he just put in there. So that way he can set up for some more cards and possibly find that, you know, the Crush Namer, Team Flare Ground, Lycanroc GX play. That's, you know, that's the best how you want to do right here to give your chance to win the game. All right, so let's see what Chance does. Uh, does he find an energy? But nope, going to Shaman for three. So one, two... And three, I do not see that combination in his hand. I did see a Crush Namer on this part of puzzle number one and has a discarded energy. I think Chance is like, he has at least 80% on those right now. He has flipped a lot of heads this game, which is not, you know, not a bad thing at all if you're Chance. You want to flip those heads. All right, so um, we're going to see an both players are going to shuffle up. Uh, Noah is going to get three. Chance is going to get six. Uh, but Chance needs to find another Crushing Hammer. A Lycan Rock and an Energy to put Noah down to zero card, zero energies, and make it maybe, maybe, just maybe, make it where a Guard of War can now attack this turn. Um, now, if Noah had touched a Fairy Energy turn before, he'd actually have three energies on this Guard of War right now instead of just two. But that's you know whatever, it's fine. So uh, no, I think he finds a, a, a Mega Turbo Plus Energy anyway in his hand. Um, if that's the case, that's really bad for Chance, <laughs> obviously. All right, but does Chance find another Pokemon? I mean. If he had a Lycanroc, I imagine he would just slam it down automatically. Be like, boom, boom, there he is. There's Lycanroc. We're good to go. But uh, he hasn't put one down just yet. So you got to think he doesn't have one right now unless he has an Ultra Ball. I do see a strong energy in his hand. He can put on the bench. You really don't want to commit on the active unless you do have a Lycanroc in your hand. And we are just going to see attack for 30 damage or 10 plus 20 for a strong energy for 30 so on a Noah's turn, I'm gonna put a fair energy to the active. Uh, Noah's pretty much safe. There's no way he can really be knocked out. There's a fair drop uh, healing the damage off the active, and in the end, both players will shop up and get some new cards. And uh, it's looking really bad for Chance. Even though Noah only has his one Mega Gardevoir, Noah's gonna knock out the active Rock Ruff, and then all he has to do is license up on the Shamus to win this game. Uh, so it's not looking good for Chance. I mean, game number two, we saw Lycan Rock go crazy, did everything it needed to do, but this game is just it's just not happening, which is very unfortunate. So both players are gonna get six new cards, and let's see what's gonna happen. What do they find? We see a, a Brilliant Arrow for the knockout. Owen a chance to turn. I mean, Despair, sorry, not Brilliant Arrow. I do apologize. So let's see Rock Rock coming to the X spot. Chance is going to draw a card. He needs to find an energy. Uh, Lycan Rock GX. Okay, there's, there's one piece of the puzzle. Um, Noah's going to look at the discard pile. Make sure to see what's all there. Both players are looking at the discard piles right now. And does Chance have a Lycan Rock or not? Was he a VS Seeker? Or an N, I imagine, unless he goes for a team flare on play. And nope, going to see N, put his opponent down to two cards. Now with this, Chance needs to find a Lycanroc GX. If he does not, 
it's game over. I mean, chance give Drake to Shaman, but just give one shot about Brilliant Arrow. Uh, and Disparate, sorry, not Brilliant Arrow. Disparate is what knocks it out. Brilliant Arrow only do 90 uh, right now, which doesn't knock it out, but still be really pretty funny to see. So we see both players go to set up. A chance will find six new cards. Does he find a Lycanroc GX or not? And if he doesn't, that will be game, unfortunately. And, oh, man, I don't think, yep. And we see Chance not have anything. And Noah will take this game, unfortunately. Wow. All right, so that was very upsetting. No Lycanroc coming out. Let's see here. Any prize and chances, prize cards? And, nope, none of prize. He just... Couldn't find anything, which is very unfortunate. But guys, there we go. At least we saw Lycan Rock GX in one game. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. This is round number five of the of the Hendersonville League Cup. Unfortunately, Noah does not make cut. I think he actually gets like ninth or tenth place. Um, we did the math, and I thought he was gonna make cut. We all thought he, we all thought somebody else would squeak in, but he actually, I don't think. Wait, well, he made. I don't, yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't make cut. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And we'll see you in the next stream over, which right now you can see Volcania. So we're going to see a Volcania deck coming out and uh, be round number five on that side of the stream. But guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Alrighty. Bye. All right, guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to our three sponsors, Six Cards, Yeti Gaming, and the Pokemon Company International. Links to everything will be down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Alrighty.